Because like if we come in here and we started doing an impression of an average Comic Con attendee and we started talking yeah. like this, yeah. you're yeah. like, oh, okay, guys, we get it. That's a right. stereotype. Right? Yeah. How yeah. dare you? How but, dare you be accurate? Uh-huh. <laughs> you get it. Yeah. I'm Woody. That's Greg Gory. Hi. That's Menace. What is up, Woody? Well, Menace, I'm going to tell everybody they can find us and follow us on social media. Do it. As the social media director, I'm assuming that makes you very happy. It does. And more giveaways to come. All I right. mean, we gave away that 98-inch television. Uh, yeah, from TCL. And I have some yeah. plans to give away some more, so you should always follow. All right. All right. At The Woody Show. On the social media platform of your choice, there is Seabass. Yeah. Morning, Seabass. Sammy's here. Good morning. Phones are open, 877-44-WOODY. And it's up with the text over to 2297. Damn it, I love this song. More human than a human man. More human than a human man. Those aren't the lyrics. What's that? Those are the lyrics, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White Zombie. Supercharger Heaven is another great song on that uh, on that same album. Great. So good. Rules. Greg has a tattoo of it. <laughs> I Does do. Yeah. yeah, on his lower back. Uh, a phone sex business tried to capitalize on all the sexless dorks that descended on San Diego for Comic-Con this weekend. Rip. They were uh, offering up calls. I didn't think these uh, these sex line numbers were still a thing. I saw one came on my hotel so room while I was at Comic Con. Yeah, I was like, "Whoa, that's a little throwbacky." Well, they're offering up calls with different comic book characters, which I'm sure is legal. <laughs> uh, they posted a video of a lady in a really bad Catwoman costume telling guys to call in if they want to talk to a sexy superhero. Yeah. Sweet. And they said they're game for any and all cosplay or fantasy role play calls. Down oh, with that, yeah. too. Now, I know, Greg, mm-hmm. you're wondering how much. How much? I would guess uh, 99 cents a minute. Two ninety nine for the first minute. Jeez. And then 89 cents each additional minute. Good oh, God. So for these dorks, what is that, like three minutes? Right. <laughs> yeah. And then they're, they're fine. Like Catwoman just has to say, well, I just talk off my tongue. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it's over. Wonder Woman. Okay, this is this is the commercial. I saw. This was on late night television. Not yeah, yeah. I that think it's gonna a make a comeback with AI because now they can just set up computers. Oh, to that's talk true. To people, because yeah, I mean, who cares if it's a real person? Yeah, the so, fantasy is still. In fact, there. it helps. Yeah. Well, yeah, because uh-huh. that's what I'm saying. Like right. they're all into the. I mean, when the I'm, fantasy stuff anyway. Right. If what? I, how many times have and the stuff that I play where I talk to these people online and they start going into the. Well, my grandbaby of the... Oh, right. Jesus. Oh. Yeah. Yuck. AI won't do that to me. Yeah, yeah, right. Here's a little quick clip AI from... keep it hot. ...from the ad. Tonight, do you ever dream of a sexy superhero? Rawr. <laughs> <laughs> rawr. 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 You know, rawr. I mean, and yes, we do. Yeah. Dream of it all the time. So Seabass was at uh, Comic-Con this weekend. Was it super busy? Yeah, it was not terrible. It was, you know, it was, I'm sure, a two capacity sold out, I keep sure. talking about how it's, uh, it's outgrown San Diego. Right, it's so big. So what they'll do now is the you know the fire marshal, of course, is heavily involved. So the convention center itself has a certain capacity. And I would say it was actually easier getting around because that main f- the main exhibitor hall is the hardest part of the, the convention center, and it, it's it's nuts to butts as they say, shoulder to shoulder. But it wasn't that bad this year. But what they do is they'll they'll then go out and say, okay, across the street at this hotel ballroom, we'll have a special event, or down the hall re- road at this place. So they are expanding to a certain degree uh, that they can, anyways. Okay. Because they were talking about like hotels being an yeah. issue, just not enough. Oh, yeah. I mean, I got a hotel two weeks beforehand. Yeah, I don't know really? if you saw it, huh. but there was that drone show, the Deadpool yeah, so Wolverine drone show. Pe- Petco Park. Another, yeah, that another, looked another pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, it's the thing I've noticed about these hotels is, yeah, you don't, like when they announce the Super Bowl, for instance, or Comic-Con, mm. you don't buy hotels that week. No, you wait. Right, because they'll all of the companies will reserve and block out stuff, and then as people drop out, then you come in. It's not going to be cheap. No. Right. But it's available. What, so what did you pay? Two weeks out. Two weeks uh, out. Total... And what kind of place were we talking I, about? I was like at a... the, as a Marriott Bonvoy member. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Platinum Elite, may I say. Oh, oh yeah. Not a sponsor, but could be salespeople. Uh, a co- courtyard was under 600 a night. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they, but they and start out. far from? Oh, two blocks. Really? Uh, wow. and they, But they start out. Twelve, fifteen hundred a night. Yeah, right. And so you just you wait, and then and of course I can you can use your points and get you know late mm-hmm. checkout again. Oh. All the great advantages Ooh. of being a Bonvoy, Bonvoy yes. member. Yes. How late of a checkout? Uh, for me, four p.m. Wow. And what I checked in check early, in? Uh, as early as eight a.m. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah. Basically, it has its, it has its. Uh, I am a Bonvoy member as well, and it, it is really a pretty good program. I uh, am, but I don't read the. Not a member, but they, you know, not not a sponsor, <laughs> but it could be yeah. for sure. Well, you have to go up. You don't. All Bonvoy doesn't get eight four p.m. checkout. You have to be a certain level. Right. 
got to be the elite. Yeah. I got to check my status. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do our annual round of how much for that nerd crap. Seabass has gone around talking to some of the dorks with their backpacks full of goodies that they had uh, gone around and bought at the convention. Checking in on the culture, seeing what's yeah. hot this year. And it was just uh, Comic Con, the Comic Con. There's a lot of different cons yeah. that happen throughout the year, but this is the big one. San Diego Comic Con and Seabass, as he is every year, he was on the scene talking to some of these uh, really cool people, guys <laughs> yeah. and girls. The body hair, the the, the, the skin tags, the, right. oh, <laughs> yeah. the permanent oh, sweat God. layer. Skin tag. Oh, oh God, God, I hate mm. it. Well, especially because you get these when you walk into Comic Con, you get these big, yeah, these big bags, giant yeah. bags because they want you to buy things because yeah. that's what it's all about is buying things and consumerism. Also, yeah. they could put sponsor logos on there; they make money on that. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, the yeah. every hotel is plastered with you know, giant SpongeBob and Hulu right. and whatever. But you're supposed to use it as a backpack, uh -huh. and so you get this kind of plasticky bag so mm -hmm. being carried around all day. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's a nice back sweat. Yeah. Uh, so every oh, year yeah. we play Having... this game. It's called How Much for That Nerd Crap. And these bags, all these different things these people have uh, gone and bought. They're at Comic Con, so we're gonna learn a little bit about each person, talk to them there for a second, and they'll tell us about uh, some that they bought there at Comic Con. And then we have to try to guess how much they pay for that nerd crap. Who's the first person to see that? Young man here named Felix. Okay. All right, well, uh, the first thing I've got here, I have a Powerpuff Girls comic, which uh, I'm a big fan of the Powerpuff Girls, always been a fan since I was really young. I have another one that I got that's pretty much the same comic, except with a different cover. And then besides that, I've got this really big uh, Kirby, because I also really like Kirby. He's got a little Magalore hat. And uh, I got some cool. pins Thanks I have nodding. thrown in the bottom here I bought for a friend. And oh. she's a big fan of uh, SpongeBob, Gravity Falls, and Wall-E. So I got three little pins of that. That's very thoughtful of you. Mm -hmm. How much did you pay for all of that nerd crap? All of it? So two uh, power again, Powerpuff Girls. Okay. Uh, Comic books. Comics. So they say uh, recommended reading age, 9 through 12 years old. <laughs> all right. I've got two Powerpuff Girls comics, uh -huh. uh, a Kirby plush dog. Kirby's that pink thing. You see it in like Super Smash Brothers and uh, those sort of things. But with the Magalore helmet, which is Greg's oh, favorite. Oh, nice. <laughs> Magalore is just like so empowering. <laughs> <laughs> and some uh, various, you know, collectible pins. All of that stuff together is in his bag there. Ooh. How Ooh. much? Menace, uh, you have the best handle on some of this stuff. I'm going to yeah, let you go first the, to kind of give us a, get us in the ballpark. Well, I, the, I was like, oh, starting off the comics, that was probably like not too expensive. But then you get into the plush and like how much is a plush costing on site? Uh, and, and Menace, I, I don't want to steer you in the wrong, right direction here, but those comics were exclusive and they have variant covers. So, Greg, when you buy mm. your newest Powerpuff right. Girls comic book, you want to get each different cover, mm -hmm. in, especially in the, the high gloss holographic cover want, file. Want to and need to. Yes, you need all the catch them all. Yes. And them the, all. the last items were what? Sorry. Just some pins. Like like who pins? started that trick, by the way? Was the, 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 Did Taylor Swift steal it from the oh. dorks or did the dorks no. steal it from Taylor Swift? That, about It's the same thing, just put a different cover on it. And then those oh, hardcore been, fans will buy all yeah, of it. They've been doing that with like action figures. Like, yeah, that's been, that's been a comic my, book my, thing for who, thirty plus who years. Who did it first? Oh, so thirty comic plus books? since before yeah. Taylor Swift's been alive. Okay, yeah. all right, all right, all right. Okay, uh, I didn't know. Just asking the question. <laughs> I'm trying go, to learn. I'm gonna go one hundred and twenty dollars. All right, okay. for all of it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I was because I was gonna say at least two hundred. So I'll, I'll say two hundred dollars. Uh, my gut's telling me one hundred and ten. All right, good guess. I'm gonna say one fifty. One fifty. All right, how much do they pay for that nerd stuff? How much did you pay for all of that nerd crap? Uh, probably like at least two hundred dollars. Is or is there any difference between the Powerpuff Girls TV show and the comic book? I don't know. The reboot kind of sucks, if I'm being Whoa. honest. So <laughs> throwing shade <laughs> at the reboot. Damn. But, take that, Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> but yeah. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they had Super. a what, Well, <laughs> the factor was those pins, too. Some of them are just like 10 bucks, or they could go up to like $80. The factor was the comic books. It was? Yes. Okay. I would have thought those are not that expensive. Well, but see, you, the that's Kirby where you go. Doll, I just looked that up. What a dumb looking, boring <laughs> doll. It's a pink little floofy thing like that flies doll. around. Yeah. And, also, like, where do you put that, right, Greg? I mean, well, what I, room I, of the house? I put it on the bed, you know, like right. you make the bed all nice, mm -hmm. and then that would be like a throw pillow. Yeah, instead of a throw pillow, you, yeah, you put that thing there. But it's wrapped in plastic, yeah, exactly. obviously, because it's collectible. All right, so C Bass right. was at Comic-Con. <laughs> this is how much for that nerd crap. And we'll do a little variation on it. This is Ahmed. He is outside in the line for Hall H. For folks who don't know, 
Hall H is one hall in the convention center at the very end, and uh, peop- that's where all the- that's where Robert Downey Jr. takes off his mask, and you <gasps> okay, well, yeah, you have a heart attack, right? Yeah, and but but people, that's very high demand audience, so people will wait outside in the grass, and that's oh. where I found Ahmed. All right, yeah, we're at San Diego Comic Con at Hall H, the biggest hall in uh, the the entire con. Right. Yeah, waiting in line for the Marvel event at six o'clock. Uh, they say there's going to be three big new movies re- announced today, so hoping to see something cool, hope something exciting from that. How long have you been waiting to watch this nerd crap? Oh, oh, very oh, oh look at that. Wow. So he's waiting for Mar- Har- Marvel Hall H. Now, that's uh-huh. the big thing. That's yeah. Choking on his retainer. Now, does he have sunstroke okay. or is he drunk? Well, I will say this. They do a great job because this is not uh, Comic-Con's first rodeo. They do a great yeah. job at giving these people a nice shaded grass area. Okay. It's well marked off. It's well maintained. Like they 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 have this thing down. They give you a little voucher. It's civilized. It's All very right. civilized, That's unlike good. some other large events Organized. I may have been a part of recently. <laughs> yeah. uh, to be revealed. And uh, so they, again, they do a great job. So it's actually it's not a bad. You just sit around, you play games right. with your yeah. friends, you watch your phone, you know, whatever. Was okay. Ahmed in costume? Uh, we'll get to that in a moment, Greg. Oh, oh. Yes. okay. But yeah, how long has he been waiting to go to see Marvel Hall A? How long have you been waiting to watch this? New Nerd crap. All right, let's oh, see. Minimum eight hours. Eight hours. It's again. It's Marvel. Oh, it's some it's people, H. And they, weren't they you saying? Out. Weren't you saying last week that they were anticipating on this being the largest one in a long time, at least because of uh, the last couple of years? There have been strikes. different things. Right. Yeah, COVID strikes. And COVID. And, uh, right. They say, but yeah. like again, it sells out every year, so that's kind of a moot point. Uh, yeah. So I'm thinking like, oh, I'm going like maybe long. I'll go uh, seven hours. I'll go six hours. What'd you say, Menace? Eight. Eight hours? Twelve hours. Twelve hours. All right. Sam was going big on this I one. Am. How long did he wait? <laughs> Two hours already, and uh, we've barely moved. It's, uh, it's insane. Oh, Two okay, hours? So that's that ain't terrible, bad. <laughs> yeah, two hours Close. ain't bad. That ain't nothing. No, People that's nothing. camp out overnight. This is yeah. ac- and I'll bring that up right here, Menace. Yeah, you'll yeah. wait longer at uh, Disney sometimes, yeah. depending on the ride. Because I hear some people stay overnight. Are you- yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So I've heard people have been here since like 4 a.m., camped oh. out. Uh, so. Only how many more hours left till we get to this panel? Six, uh, I think two, uh, two more, two and a half more. Uh, Maybe you'll get to see uh, Batman. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It'd be so super cool. Pay all that money to go and just wait in line. Well, Greg, you'll notice how oh. stupid I was right there. He's waiting for a Marvel panel, and I said Batman. Oh, oh. oh. oh burn. <laughs> Egg on his face. Oh, oh he was God. laughing in my face. How could you make <laughs> that mistake? <laughs> wow. No. That now, was the dumbest thing you've ever said. Now, Greg, Ahmed <laughs> was dressed up, which, look, and people make fun of adults for dressing up like cartoon characters. Honestly, I like it. Really? Because it, it adds to the festivities of things. Okay. It makes, okay. it's like, that's why I like Halloween so much. It's, it's, it is fun. It so is you're ju- into the cosplay stuff? Uh, not personally, but I do agree that it adds to a bit of fun mm-hmm. for like, you see, and uh, you see like people with kids, like eight year olds, like, oh, there's Princess Peach. Mm-hmm. I want to take a photo. Right. Like, it's nice for that. It's, it, it, it's, you yeah. know what? It is fun, Menace. I'm joining fun. Oh, sweet. Nice. What respect. about when I, I was at the movie theater? never guess those words would have come out of Seabass's yeah. mouth ever. What, what about when I was at the movie theater a thousand miles away and there was a guy in a full on. Wolverine costume. Is that guy's cool? a dork. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> so not at the movies, but at Comic Con. Because no, like I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to the movies to like be or in the atmosphere. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. You know, because at, at Comic Con, like you you have a lot of like we just heard. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of yeah, yeah, yeah. There's sure. a lot of sitting around doing nothing. So it's fun to Might have things well. to look at. Uh-huh. Exactly. Okay. So let's talk about Ahmed's costume. All right. What is your costume today, Ahmed? Oh uh, yeah, it's from an anime called One Piece. It's a character called Sabo. Really big fan of the character. So. Came out with this for my first time. It's like a hat, jacket, uh, pants. There's like a, a couple coat, an undercoat. Got <laughs> the whole outfit on. Yeah. How much did it cost for this uh, piece of nerd crap? Hmm. <laughs> so for the outfit, so it's kind of like a old timey Victorian dude. Does it look self-made or something he bought? It looks bought, purchased as a uh, ensemble. Hmm. Man, I don't, I don't know, cause I don't know what this character is. Uh-huh. How many like accessories are on this outfit? So as we as we heard, there's a hat, there's a jacket, there's like a little scarf, a, a, a vest, pant, pants. That's a lot. Eighty dollars, eighty bucks. Uh, uh yeah, it's got to be somewhere one fifty. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I'll go ninety dollars. I'll say one eighty. Closest without I mean, going over. I'm just over. thinking about regular clothes aren't cheap. Yeah, right? there's so many elements so, to this. Right. Let's, let's go one fifty. All right, let's find out how much you paid for this whole get-up. How much did it cost for this uh, piece of nerd crap? Hundred, about $100. Okay, okay. Yeah, not too bad. You had to make it yourself. didn't have to get each piece to match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I wanted to keep it simple, you know, <laughs> first time. Yeah, just get something nice. Yeah, what something, are you? are killing really cool. the nerd games. I know. 
I you know I don't know why. I'm just on a roll today. Yeah, I, I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because like if we come in here and we started doing an impression of an average Comic Con attendees and we started talking yeah. like this, yeah. Yeah. you're like, oh, it. okay, guys, we get it. That's a right. stereotype. Right? Yeah. How dare you? How but, dare you be accurate? Uh-huh. <laughs> you're yeah. All right. How much they pay for that nerd crap? Who's next? Uh, we're also gonna go with Emily, and uh, this is the outfit that she was in. All right. Yeah, I'm Lego Batman. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a poster board covered in duct tape, some foam covered in duct tape, paper that I cut, a cape from Amazon. And these things in your hands are like, they're like fists, or what would you call those, grippers? Yeah, they're my Lego hands, and I have them attached on strings so I can drop them and still hold things, and these were 3D printed. Now, who was carrying all her wow. personal stuff? Her girlfriend? Like, what was the... <laughs> well, what she's saying is that because her little leg, you know, the little gripper hands that Lego pieces have, because they're on strings, she can let them drop and then carry, you know, something else in her oh. in her human hand. Oh, but okay. when she is stopped to pose for photos as Lego Batman. The way you ah, would clip yeah, on, like, yeah. mittens to a little kid's exactly jacket. Exactly right, Greg. Wow. Oh, wow. Folks say, oh, this is, you know, kids' movie stuff, and there's all these adults here. What's wrong with these people? What do you, what do you say to those folks? Um, I think that's ridiculous. As you grow, you have more resources. Um, you can make super cool things, spend money on super cool things. I can buy a lot more Play-Doh now than I could when I was a kid. Yeah, exactly. How much did it cost for this entire Lego Batman homemade outfit nerd crap? Now, where does it look like you would buy these types of items? Like a Michaels? Or well, this like, is I know, all like foam online and, stuff. Yeah. This is yeah. all like homemade. Yeah, Michaels. So it's it's cardboard. Yeah, it's duct tape. The, yeah. Or a she specialty Amazon. store. Amazon for the she cape. Get the cape. Mm-hmm. And then mm. the little hand, the little grippers were actually 3D printed. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's kind of neat. Because, uh, yeah, it'd be tough to mold that. You have to get foam and it yeah. would fall apart. So you want something harder in plastic. 150. Uh, I'm going 200. I'm going... 85. 125. 125. All right, Emily, how much did we pay? How much did it cost for this entire Lego Batman homemade outfit nerd crap? I would say probably like 100 bucks. Now, who was it? Was it Will Arnett was Lego Batman, right? Yes, I think so. Do you do the voice at all? Only sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> she's having she's having fun. She's mm-hmm. having fun. Just living life. Yeah. Just partying. Good for her. <laughs> Stop hating Menace. All right, let's do uh, one more. We got I time for one it. more, All I think. All right. All right. How much do they pay for that nerd crab? Comic Con San Diego. So Who's this? Is this? A, this is a guy, he's all in green and he's got like a bunch of uh, beastly uh, face, you know, like face fur and little ears. It's Beast yeah. Boy from Teen Titans, Greg, your favorite. Oh yeah. And he about that. and his friends are doing something that I don't know <laughs> I don't know I want to do this. So he's getting drunk with his friends. Okay. And I don't know why everyone doesn't do this at Comic Con because they don't check bags. You can walk around mm-hmm. with you know a, a Chick Fil A cup full of alcohol. really. There's what about yeah. metal detectors or anything like that? Well, there's like too that? much. There's too much crap going on with these costumes. Uh, so yeah. there's yeah. you just have a badge and they've got co- they have cops there. There's cops everywhere. Okay. So they're they're checking wep- no no real swords, no real guns, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. But you can you can just go around just drunk all day. Booze. I don't yeah, board, do you want to yeah. play along on this one? Yeah, I love okay. Teen Titans. I love Beast Boy. So okay. Beast Boy, he got some stuff, uh, some cards. He's going to tell us about. All right, here's uh, Beast Boy. I am Beast Boy. Uh, I got uh, DC DC versus Vampires. Uh, trading cards? Trading cards. Are these playing cards, or what are they? Trading cards. They're, uh, They're supposed to be playing cards, but it's more of a, like, like a, it's definitely a scam. They, they like a, they play like a one. You argue that everything sold here is a scam? Yes. <laughs> Low key. Absolutely. Absolutely, 100%. How much did you pay for that DC versus Vampire trading card piece of nerd crap? Huh. So for folks mm. who don't know, Greg, uh, DC versus Vampire, of course, is that, that comic book series that had a limited run where there are a bunch of vampires in the DC universe and they had to fight. Yeah. But now, sometimes the vampires would convert the DC characters and they become DC superheroes, or vampire superheroes. Oh, And wow. that was a big deal, right, Greg? I, I think well, it board was, probably knows more about this probably, than anybody. It's pretty biggest, earth shattering. It sounds like something that's like right up his alley. The biggest. It was actually more fun than DC versus Zombies. That one was kind of boring. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So now this <laughs> is the, these are the trading cards based on... The, that comic book series, mm. and they're okay. now sold, and you know, like you said, they're kind of a scam, but whatever. So is everything. Like how yeah. many of these? Are it's just one like card? A pack? Or like a pack no, it comes like cards? a pack, like you, like baseball cards. Okay, so like how much for a pack of cards? So you might get Vampire Batman or something in your pack Ooh. of cards. Uh, man, because I know, dude, like Garbage Pail Kids, those are pricey. Yeah. Considering how much they used to be. It was like 25 cents and I had a stick of gum. 
especially if it's an exclusive pack at Comic Con. Oh, like, remember yeah. our friend Kevin Smith? He released a whole series at Comic Con last year, and that was a lot. Is this yeah. a big deal board? The DC versus Vampire? Uh, yeah, it was a pretty big limited series that they had. You know, it was like Marvel versus Zombies was a huge thing that happened in the early 2000s. So it was a pretty popular series. I mean, imagine you get to see your favorite superhero like Superman, Greg, or, imagine. or General Zod as a zombie. Oh, God, that would be awesome. Or Seabass, <laughs> okay, Lex Luthor as a zombie. That'd be so great. And then, yeah. and then you buy the trading card after that because you want it to and it's a forget. limited run and only you got it because you went to comic-con for that yeah wow. right well okay. that's, that's what we're saying the host this whole economy is based on yeah. a false sense of scarcity all right they, right. Could, they could print more of these cards if they wanted to but they don't because it's money right 25 dollars i'm saying 15 he's got two packs by the way oh two, two packs, packs. Oh. Two packs. Oh. All right, 30. 50 bucks 30 35 35 60 60 bort 65 $65. Let's find out. Beast Boy, how much you paid for that nerd crap? How much did you pay for that DC versus Vampire trading card uh, piece of nerd crap? I bought two sets. Each one was $35, oh, so I spent uh, $70. Let's say someone wanted to enjoy a beer at Comic-Con. How might someone do that? You know, I like check your bags. We'll and, just tell you that. I listen to the station every day. So right here, right now, what's your character? Mine is Starfire. So now Starfire just said they don't check your bags, and that's oh, yeah. a pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip. They don't check your bags. Bring that shit in the water bottle, pure vodka, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Ah, I see. Now you know. Look Damn. at Bort. Hands up in a V. Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, he's yeah. Nice. I know my nerd crap. Yeah, nice nice work there, Bort. Yeah, well, I spent a lot of money on it, so I should know by now. Now, you nice. were paying attention to all this stuff over the weekend. Anything that uh, caught your eye? Um, Yeah, I mean... The, there's a new Batman series that's coming out on Amazon Prime this week called Batman the Cape Crusader. That was pretty exciting. Uh, there's a the new Transformer trailer for Transformer 1 came out. It's like a prequel. That's a cartoon, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> CGI movie. That was pretty exciting. Robert Downey Jr. news. That was, that was fun. You know, yeah. I really enjoyed it. But personally, my favorite exciting moment this is dorky as hell. Sorry, guys. Um, there's a new... Because <laughs> the rest wasn't. <laughs> there, this, this is pretty yeah. epic yeah. Uh, for me, being dorky. Uh, there's a crossover action figure for the Transformers and G.I. Joe. Oh. It's Sergeant Slaughter's vehicle from the oh, 80s. Nice. And it transforms into a Transformer. And Get out of here. Woody, Am I the only one getting a boner right now? <laughs> no, oh, I'm a wreck. Yeah. Oh, that's for a great. Okay, that's kind of Ritz. legit exciting. Yeah. yeah. Kit, <laughs> is, Kit's an old friend. <laughs> 